decimal place value hundreds to ten thousands. Earlier we had looked at uh, decimal place values tens to hundreds and we referred back to money. We used three hundred and twenty eight dollars and fifty six cents and said that each one of these digits from the five have different values. Some of them are more important to us than others if we're thinking about money. Uh, but the three that was our hundreds place because that's how many hundreds we have. The two represents another two tens that we could get. The eight represented how many singles or ones that we could get. And then on the right hand side, the change, the five and the six, uh, the five was our dimes, each one being a tenth of a dollar. The six was our pennies, each one being a hundredth of a dollar. And we were very specific with this right hand side about the THS because there are some similarities between the left hand side and the right. We have tens on the left hand side and tenths on the right hand side. I'm referring to the right hand side of the decimal. And then we had hundreds and hundredths on the right hand side of the decimal. So we're starting to see a little, you know, pattern here. Well, what if we had more money, which is always nice. Uh, what if I had 2,300? Uh, this two has even more value. I could say that it has each one being a thousand. So this is the thousands place. And then going even further, what if there was another digit out here? Then that digit would be the ten thousands. And we could go on, we could have hundreds of thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions. We could get bigger and bigger, and sometimes money does. Now on the right hand side, usually we stop at the hundreds, you know, that's pennies, we usually don't break money down further than that. Uh, but with decimals, we could break down decimals even further than that. And the symmetry between the left and right just continues. Uh, if I put another couple of digits out here, let's say I use a 9 and a 7. Uh, so far, I've got the tenths, the hundredths. By the time I get to the 9, I just continue with the pattern. So this nine represents tens, hundreds, thousands. It's got the THS on it, just like the thousands on the left hand side, thousands has the THS. And then if I break it down even further with the seven, the seven represents tens of thousands being sure to include our THS so we could break things down smaller and smaller just as on the left hand side of the decimal we could get bigger and bigger so let's look at our problem decimal place value we are trying to find the digits in the hundreds place we want that one uh, in the tenths place, that's another digit that we want, and then the thousands place for the following number. So we've got some digits in there. Those are the ones that we're looking at. We definitely want to be careful with the THS. Uh, the first one, hundreds, does not have the THS, so that's going to be on the left-hand side. Our number here is 986, so the nine is in the hundreds place. Uh, for the tenths, that does have the THS, so I know I'm on the right hand side of the decimal, and there is no once, so the very first one is tenths, that's our five, and then the thousands. Well, if we remember the pattern on the right hand side, it's tenths, hundredths, thousands, so the four is in the thousandths place. 